but now we need to focus on the economy. Is that what you're saying? And if that is what you're saying, when or what kind of steps do we expect? It's a matter of prioritization. What is more important? To fix the economy or to embark on this political uh, issue with all the contentious and all the different interpretations that the public give to it. We are committed. It is very specific on the manifesto. Very, very specific. And we are not going to renege on it. No question about that. But Mr. it's Mr. a Chairman, matter uh, of you did time. See, it's a matter. Permit me to just uh, say, come in here, my apologies. Mr. Chairman, you did see only yesterday and the crowd that was pulled in the eastern part of this country and as a matter of fact they have adjudged Namdi Kanu the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and flagging up their flags here and there. That movement seems unstoppable. What is your party trying to do to change this perception and instead put up a referendum first? Well, the acting president has spoken forcefully on this issue. The leaders of that area are beginning to find their voice. There's no question at all that there must be a conversation. And out of that conversation will come the answers. It is a conversation that will lead to answers. What are the issues in quotation? What the youths, the people of that area want. All these conversations are taking place under the screen. And eventually, the nation will come out with answers to these problems. They want to know also if you are going to, if your government is going to allow Biafra to secede and become a country on its own. How do you respond to that? <sighs> Yeah. I think that's the most unlikely event. I don't think the demand to start with will ever get that far. Mr. Chairman, if I could uh, uh, talk about party politics a bit before we hand back to Mark, but uh, there are those who are raising a lot of questions about uh, internal democracy in your party, the APC. As a matter of fact, we do have a petition from uh, Umar Duhu, he says that um, he was unanimously, I mean, that uh, there was a letter given to him to occupy the position of the national vice chairman northeast of the party, but that there's another letter that has been written. And then he sent a petition to you saying that uh, there's an action of the national secretary, which he says is not only in gross violation of Article 20A of your party constitution, he says that uh, his position is that they are nominating another person to occupy that position rather than an elective position. So he's written that petition to you. So we'd like to know, are you in receipt of this petition or what are you doing about it? Uh, yes, I have uh, received uh, the petition. Uh, yes, there's a bit of a glitch there uh, looks as if leaders in that area are reconsidering their position but let me see the constitution provides for the procedures for doing this and we are going to abide by that constitution full stop in other words is he going to maintain his position Can you hear me? I don't think I hear a follow-up question yeah, there. I don't, uh... Uh, but just quickly, you know, going back to the theme of restructuring, you believe that speaking with the leaders of, you know, especially the political class in the Southeast is the same as speaking with the people of the Southeast. Some people believe that that necessarily uh, might not be the two because they also 
may not be the case because they believe that in some instances the political class seems a bit disconnected and the people are a bit disenchanted with uh, the political class as the case might be. I think in the process we will talk to everybody who has and is able to have an impact on the situation. Uh, everybody but that, that include, can help with an answer. Would that include an answer. people like Namdi Kanu? I suppose so, yes. Right now, they're asking for a referendum. Is it something that, the, that Nigeria as a country will consider? I don't think we have gotten to that stage yet. The current fear really is the kind of verbiage that is coming from there. It is a bit violent. I mean, if you read the social media, hear them on their radio and their television, it is a bit valid. That is what should be concerning us. We have to reach, we're reaching them. These things are happening. It's not that they are not happening, but they don't happen on the pages of newspapers. To tone down a bit, to also exploit the political process for doing this. Why not? They can organize a party. They can participate in any of the existing parties with that as the kernel of their demands. And let us see how the voters of that area also express their will. What is going now is intimidation. It is threats. So you really don't know what the people think. How do you know that? And there are, how do you know this is There are elections coming. There are elections coming. There are elections coming. We have an umbrella later this year. Let mm -hmm. the people speak. That is the only way. We are a democracy. We can't operate the way they want us to operate. It's not on. There must be a meeting of minds. There must be a conversation. Who's going to initiate the conversation? Is it going to be As I tell the you, government of the day, or are you hoping that... It is going on behind the scenes. A lot of consultations are going on. And eventually, of course, there may be need to sit around a table at the end of the day. Would you say that this country has been unfair? I mean, there are people, when they look at the composition of this country, perhaps how we came about even as a country and how things have been uh, arranged politically, they, mm. have, they continue to believe that this you know, arrangement only favors one side of the country uh, over other sides of the country, as it were. Do you share that perspective? No, I don't. The issue is how. In let's take, a, let's take a look at this. To have Let, let's take a look at federal that. character, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which is one thing that, you know, they believe that the manner in which federal character operates, you know, has not been fair to those who, uh, to certain areas of the country. They even take a look at, say, common entrance or even how jump and admission process operates. If you are educationally disadvantaged, some, in some instance, you get leverage or you get preference over people who have done well and are deprived of, say, admissions in, in some instances. Well, I understand that we have to take a break now before you are able mm -hmm. to answer that question. Thank in just you. a moment, please stay with us.